What's with this aftermarket camera? Sure, it doesn't come from Tesla. Oh, it's for this unit right here. Welcome to Al Marsh. My name is Alan. Today we're gonna check out Hand Show's Android 10.25 inch display, exclusive for Tesla Model 3 slash Y. I tell you, if you're one of those people like myself who purchased uh, Model 3 in this case, I miss having a customer in front of me with uh, some information. This is great to have. And by the way, I am not sponsored by Handshow. That's right, I got this unit out of my own pocket. The link is gonna be on the bottom of the video if you guys are interested in purchasing it. So without further ado, let's check it out. So to your left, there's your speedo and your total mileage. The middle, various information, which I'll scroll through in a bit. On the top, middle, there's your transmission. Forgot to put it in the park, okay. And it shows your, your headlight, charging status, all that good stuff. And on the right, it shows your power flow, which is in horsepower, which is quite interesting, okay. Bottom left is the temperature. I purposely left it on centigrade. I mean, why not? Centigrade, Fahrenheit. You can have it both ways. On the bottom, center left, it is your cellular reception. Now, let me tell you a quick story. I purchased a SIM card, and servers wasn't that good, to be quite honest. From what company? I write on that mention here, so. And then you got the Wi-Fi, you can tether your phone, or if they have a high Wi-Fi, you can hook it up. Now the Bluetooth, I'll explain to that further in a second, and then the OTA means over the air update. Since I'm not sponsored by Handshow, I can tell you, I have this for like hmm, seven months. They haven't updated this thing yet, so. And then the bottom of it, as it, of course is your percentage. Which I just charge this vehicle is at 99%. So let's start with the middle of the screen. On the right side, uh, scroll. Let's zoom in on that, okay. Your car setting, which is, uh, it will take you to the main menu. When I click to the right, yeah, it takes you to the main menu, so we're not going to go too deep in that. Application. Like I said, this is the Android, so you got Google Chrome, Google Maps, YouTube. And then left, I scroll back. I go up. Music. I mean, um, okay. CarPlay. We're going to go into that in just a moment. You want to turn off the screen, click on it, it just shows you the time. I mean, you pay money for this display, you want to show everything. I don't know why they have this app. Front camera. It works in two ways. Click on it. Now you see the what of us in front of you. And I'll show you the, the camera that came with this unit. You can also opt out the camera, but I chose to opt in. Navigation. Google Maps. And then I love this uh, display right here. I love this uh, setup. Tire monitor system, okay? Shows your PSI in real time. And just for reference, 
44.9 all around. You look from the Tesla itself. Zoom in, okay. 44, 45, close enough. Now let's get to the fun part, the CarPlay. Go to CarPlay. There's two ways to control CarPlay. You can use this the right scroll. You could uh, play around. Google Maps, for example. Wow, I got the satellite view maps. Very nice. But then the way I set it up, Then you gotta look to the right. But still, it's very nice. Now there, if I wanna add the speedo to the front, let's go to the main menu. You can also use this as a touch screen. Boom. I wanna go back to the to the native car, boom. You go to the setting, car setting. Right click. Then we go down to the other, click. Vehicle floating icon, click. And then you go back, back. Let's go back to CarPlay. Now your speedo is on up a CarPlay. It kind of gets in the way, but I mean, no such thing as perfection, right? Back to full map. You can even leave a CarPlay like this Yeah, this is nice. This is good. You got your full map and it got a speedo. Like some of the luxury cars, uh, it will show you the map and your speedo. I mean, some internal combustion engine, they give you RPM, of course, but this is fully electric car. You don't need that, so we're good. Again, touchscreen. Music. I want to go back to map. There's a Google map right here. Click. I want to get all the information. Give me a sec. Got my map. Say I want to go somewhere. Probably in this garage, uh, the signal is not that good. Now, since uh, there is no uh, signal, it says offline, but you get the drift. Click start. Yeah, I got all the, all the information right there, everything. But let's say you want to uh, look at your speed and your tire pressure from this display only. Click here, go to the car, and then you scroll up, or you could do it touch screen like this. And there you go. This is the quick glance of the Hanshow Android 10.25 inch display. Oh, did I mention? You could get Apple CarPlay in your Tesla. That's one of the method. There's a cheaper method for Apple CarPlay. That's gonna be on, a, on another video. Thank you for watching.